All right, guys, so now that we have our staff controller and view, what we want to do now is create a database because that's where we want to grab these values from. So right now I'm going to go to my PHP my admin and log in. And I'm going to create a new database. I'm just going to call it Yi. And I want to I'm going to click on it and I'm going to create one table called uh, TBL underscore staff. And it'll have four columns. It's going to be an ID, a first name, oh, do an underscore, first name, last name, and email. So the ID will be 11 characters max and primary in auto increment, and then the rest will be varkar with 255. Okay, very simple database. And let's insert, let's click on that and insert some values. Let's put these names in Julie Williams. Her email will be jwilliams at gmail.com. Bob White. Let's actually insert one more. Harry Jackson. All right. So now we have our staff table with three people. Now, what we need to do is configure our MySQL database. By default, uh, when you install a Yi installation, it, it's connected to an SQLite database, which is a serverless database, and it basically works off of files. So we want to change that to MySQL. So we want to go to NetBeans, and we want to go to the config folder, which is in the protected folder, and we want to open up main.php. And then down here, you can see we have this DB array. And then we have a connection string, which includes SQL Lite, and it's pointing to data slash test drive DB. We don't want to use that. We want to use this here. This is the MySQL connection. So we want to uncomment that and then comment the SQL Lite string. Okay. So here we want to enter our MySQL, MySQL credentials. The database name is ye. My username is root, and then I just got a simple password. And I'm going to save that. So what we want to do now is go back to our GI module, and we do that by going to GI uh, slash what is it? Key slash default slash login. And we want to enter our password. Okay. And what we want to choose from here is model generator. So the first thing that is asked of us is the table prefix. And you don't have to use a table prefix, but we did here. The table is TBL underscore staff. So TBL underscore is the prefix. And then for the table name is going to be staff. Well, the table name is going to be TBL staff. But you'll notice the model class is named staff, not TBL staff. Now, just like when we generated a controller, we can click Preview, and it'll show us the files that are going to be created, which in this case is only going to be model slash staff.php. So let's go ahead and click Generate. All right, so it says the code has been generated successfully. 
we can go check this in NetBeans. If we go to models, you'll see we now have a staff.php file. So it's staff and it extends the um, active record class function table name rules. So these are all um, functions that come with it when you generate the model with, with GI. Search, so that's going to give us search functions. All right. Now, what we want to be able to do is we want a form uh, that we can fill out to add, add staff members. Not only add, but to CRUD, create, read, update, and delete. So if we go back to our GI slash default slash login. I don't know if we need the login yet. Yeah, all right, so we'll log back in here. And what we want to do is go to CRUD generator. So this is going to ask for our model class and our controller ID. Now, right now, I'm going to go back to my staff controller. And I'm going to actually get rid of all this, the staff. Because like I said, we're going to be getting this from the database. So we're just going to keep the index render. And then in the staff view, let's go down to the index PHP and staff view. And I'm just going to put the names back here. So let's go back to the browser. And the model class we want to work with here is staff. And you can see the controller ID was auto populated with staff. Now we can preview. So this shows us uh, a bunch of things. It shows us the staff controller.php, which is going to be changed. Um, same thing with the staff, these views, the index view. And it's going to add all these other views. It's going to add uh, form, search, view, admin, create, update, and staff update, staff view. So it's going to generate quite a bit of files here. So we're going to click on generate. So it was generated successfully. And you'll notice we have a try it now link. So let's click on that. And here we have our staff page, which is just our staff view. And this is still our static content. You know what? I'm going to go back here and do this again. If I click preview, and I'm going to check the overwrites here. All right. It, now the the new the new documents are going to say unchanged because we just created them. But I want to overwrite our controller and our view. All right. So I'm going to click on generate again. Now I'm going to click on try it now. And now you can see that the data is actually being pulled from our database because we now have an email, we have an ID. So this represents the read out of the CRUD. Now you can also see on the side here we have a create staff link. Okay, so we have to log in. And with the default uh, generated application, we can use admin. admin admin and we can create staff so let's create someone new we'll say John Edwards say uh, Edwards at yahoo.com create and it brings us to the view so we're viewing the, a single record here and then we still have these these um, links over here. We have list staff, which will take us back to the list of all the staff, which has John Edwards added to it. So you can see we've built a full-fledged CRUD application here. Um, manage staff. So he, from here we have a table with all of our staff, and we can easily delete. It, it asks for a confirm, confirmation. Okay. 
so that makes it so we can easily remove staff so I mean it's just incredible how much code and how much functionality that we've just generated using GUI and this is in essence the reason why developers use frameworks because it takes the tedious tasks out uh, of just these basic operations so um, that's all for this section in the next next section uh, we'll be looking at how we can change the presentation of our site or our application and we'll also be adding menu items